Hi and welcome to Short Source Classes. We are doing rapid fire solutions and this one is on mathematical physics. So uh, in this series we'll be solving quite a few problems in succession and hope you like our problem collection. So first problem. Two matrices A and B are said to be similar if uh, if B is equal to P inverse AP for some invertible matrix P for which the following statements is not true. So we are given these statements and we are required to find the statement which is false. So how do we do it? If A and B, A and B, okay, so A and P are square matrices, square matrices of same type so same type uh, and if P is inversible invertible is invertible then the matrices A then matrices A and B equals to P inverse AP also have the same characteristic groups. So they have the same characteristic groups. So we have uh, B equals to P inverse AP. So B minus lambda I is equal to P inverse AP minus lambda I. And this gives us P inverse A P minus P inverse lambda I P. So this is equal to P inverse A minus lambda I into P, where I is basically the identity matrix, as you all know, identity matrix. And uh, B minus lambda I, B minus lambda I, this determinant equals to zero is called the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation and lambda dash zero, lambda dash zero are the characteristic, characteristic roots of or uh, we can write characteristic roots or just the eigenvalues characteristic roots of the equation or the eigenvalues eigenvalues so what we have we will be having b minus lambda i this determinant is equal to p inverse into a minus lambda i uh, into P and this determinant is equal to P inverse A minus lambda I P which is equal to A minus lambda I P inverse P and this is basically equal to A minus lambda I into P P inverse and this is equal to a minus lambda i and this is i and this is basically a minus lambda i this determinant okay so thus the matrices a and b have the same characteristic equation and hence the characteristic roots or eigenvalues since the sum of the eigenvalues of a matrix is equal so sum of the eigenvalues let me just write that yeah sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the uh, trace of a matrix trace of matrix and product of eigenvalues, so pi eigenvalues, eigenvalues is equal to determinant of the matrix. Hence, 
we uh, find that uh, the third option is correct okay all right so moving on this question demands that the value of the contour integral um, the uh, integral c r cross d theta and for a circle of c circle c of radius r with center at origin a so basically what we have is that uh, uh, C integral C d theta sine 90 degrees sine 90 degrees and this is equal to R C d theta and this is equal to 2 pi R and the answer is obviously A. Okay. So we'll move on to the next question. A uh, unitary matrix so and so given uh, where A, B, C, D, alpha and beta are given to be real. So these, oops. So we are given that these uh, alpha, beta, uh, alpha, beta, A, B, C, D are real. The inverse of the matrix is asked. So we know that uh, this value that is a into a theta is basically equal to i where a theta is equal to the conjugate transpose and uh, we are given that a is equal to a e to the power i alpha b uh, this b again oh sorry this is uh, c e to the power c e to the power i beta and this is given to be d and uh, we have from this equation right here that uh, a inverse a inverse is equal to a inverse into a a theta is equal to i into a inverse and this implies that a theta equals to a inverse and uh, basically this will give us a dash is equal to um, let's see a e to the power minus i alpha b and this will be c is a minus i beta and this will be d and if we take this implies that a inverse d dash oops a dash inverse uh, is equal to a e to the power minus i alpha c e to the power minus i beta and b and we have this as d and this is equal to a to the power theta so we can say from this equation right here that a theta is equal to a inverse so therefore we have a inverse is basically this quantity right here this quantity Okay, so that gives us option D, I guess. Yeah, option D is correct. So let me just check. Yeah, it's option D. Okay, we'll keep it on, up till here. We'll be continuing in our next video. So please stay tuned.